This is an MIT practice problem for an exam from MIT's classical mechanics course. This is a depiction of our problem. Now, if we look at our angle right here, this theta will be our 60 degrees, but for now, we'll just use variables. If we're breaking it up into X and Y components, we'll have V naught sine of theta and V naught cosine of theta. Our approach for this problem is going to be to use the kinematic equations to solve for time in terms of variables that we do know, and then solve for the distance that the ball travels when we throw it at a 45 degree angle. To start, we can use the kinematic equation x is equal to vit plus one half at squared. Now remember, with the kinematic equations, you have to analyze the vertical and horizontal movement independently. We'll start with analyzing the vertical movement. When the ball reaches the ground, right here, it'll be at a height that we'll consider zero. So our equation will be zero is equal to v naught sine of theta for the vertical component of our velocity minus one half gt squared. This minus comes from the downward acceleration of gravity. Next, we're gonna solve for t. Factoring out t, we get v naught times sine of theta minus one half gt, and that's still equal to zero. If you divide by zero on both sides, our new equation becomes zero is equal to v naught sine of theta minus one half gt. Solving for t becomes a lot simpler this way. We get one half gt is equal to v naught sine of theta. Finally, t is equal to two v naught sine of theta divided by g. Our next step is to plug this expression for time in another equation. That way we can solve for distance. That equation is simply gonna be x is equal to v times t. That distance is equal to velocity times time. And this is applicable because horizontal velocity is unaffected by gravity and we're ignoring drag. So then x is equal to v naught cosine of theta times our expression for time, two v naught sine of theta over g. And we can rearrange this to be v naught squared over g times two sine of theta cosine of theta. And you may recognize this expression as a trig identity for sine of two theta. So we can simplify this expression as v naught squared sine of two theta all over g. Now we have an expression for distance. And if we divide x2, the distance the ball travels at a 45 degree angle, by x, this should be equal to v naught squared sine of two theta sub two over g over v naught squared sine of two theta over g. As you can see, some of our terms cancel out. v naught squared g, and then we're just left with x two is equal to x sine of two theta sub two over sine of two theta. So we know x is 60 sine of two theta sub two, two times the 45 degree angle over sine of two times our 60 degree angle. Plugging this into a calculator gives us 69.2 yards.